Kevin Costner's estranged wife Christine Baumgartner denies stripping the house bare amid divorce. The tumultuous divorce between Kevin Costner and Christine Baumgartner continues to get more contentious. Baumgartner is addressing claims made by Costner's legal team that she's going to take items she is not authorized to take when she leaves their home which she was ordered to move out of by July 31. In legal documents obtained by Eastern Time, Baumgartner states there is no emergency basis for Costner's concerns, and his apparent fear that she will strip the house bare is unfounded, with the exception of a handful of items. Baumgartner claims she has provided Costner's attorney with pictures of the items she plans to remove. According to Baumgartner, a hearing to ensure she didn't strip the house bare is uncalled for. A judge ruled on Friday that Baumgartner is permitted to remove her toiletries, clothing, handbags and jewelry from Costner's Beach Club Road residence. She is prohibited from removing any other items, including furniture, furnishings, appliances and artwork, from the residence or from any storage unit maintained by the former couple. Baumgartner's docs state that, in preparation for her move, she rented off-site storage and started packing personal belongings, such as family heirlooms, clothing, her peloton bike, various keepsakes and gifts from friends. She states that she provided Costner's lawyers a PDF with photos of the personal belongings that she packed and moved to storage, and that her ex would not be harmed by the removal of those items. The items she moved to storage include silverware, pots, pans and some swivel chairs, among other personal items. She also requested an oil painting of horses and a mother-daughter horse picture from their Aspen estate. According to a petition filed by Costner on Friday, obtained by Eastern Time, Baumgartner's list of items she plans to remove was too vague, and he wants more specific information on what she's planning on taking. For instance, petitioner lists plates and bowl silverware, without specifying which plates, which bowls and which silverware. The documents state, she lists Christine's family heirlooms and or gifts to her, but does not specify which items she believes were gifted to her, as opposed to both parties or the children. This dispute over removing personal items is the latest conflict in their very heated divorce. Earlier this month, a judge ordered Costner to pay $129,000 per month in child support on a temporary basis. An evidentiary hearing was set for November, when the temporary child support payments are subject to possible change, depending on what transpires in the hearing. According to court documents obtained by Eastern Time, Christine also claimed that Kevin couldn't afford her initial request of $248,000 per month in child support because he wanted to quit Yellowstone in order to pursue his Western project, Horizon. With a hearing set for November, this divorce case seems far from settled. Meanwhile, Kevin Costner accuses ex-Christine Baumgartner of stealing from their home details. The Yellowstone actor and his estranged wife are going through a difficult divorce earlier this month. Kevin Costner's estranged wife was ordered to vacate their shared home by the end of July, but things have taken another turn in their divorce proceedings. Yellowstone actor Kevin Costner's attorney has accused Christine of taking the star's belongings without his knowledge or consent. The 68-year-old actor also claimed that Christine had made payments to her own divorce attorney via a credit card that belongs to one of Costner's employees, according to TMZ. Why does Christine have to leave her in Kevin Costner's home? Christine, 49, has been living in the $145 million mansion she previously shared with Kevin. She had previously agreed to leave the family home stating in court documents that she intended to vacate the property on August 31st, following an initial court date originally set for July 12. This timeline, however, seems to have been disrupted. According to TMZ, the recent ruling hints at the judge's inclination to uphold the validity of the couple's prenuptial agreement, as advocated by Kevin's legal team. The agreement details that upon the filing of divorce by either party, Christine would have a month to leave the premises. However, Christine expressed reservations about leaving her home without a solid plan. Considering the potential instability for their children, Caden, 15, Hayes, 14, and daughter Grace, 13, she said, My goal has been and continues to be maintaining as much stability for our children as possible, which includes having the proper resources and plan in place so that I can establish a stable home for them. Amid these complex proceedings, Christine insists that she and Kevin can cohabit in the mansion without any issue, owing to the property's spacious and compartmentalized layout. What has been agreed in Kevin Costner's divorce? Child support has been agreed, with Kevin facing a monthly payout of $129,755.
which exceeds what the Yellowstone star initially proposed to his estranged wife. Healthcare costs for their three children, Caden, Hayes and Grace, will be shared equally between the estranged couple, as per the new arrangement. Similarly, their children's high-end private school fees and other extracurricular expenses will be split. This situation comes as a disappointment to Christine, who had earlier requested Kevin to shoulder these costs entirely. The current figure for child support isn't conclusive, leaving both Kevin and Christine with the opportunity to challenge it in a future hearing. However, TMZ notes that such figures rarely deviate significantly from the initial determination. Was Kevin Costner's first divorce as messy as his split with Christine Baumgartner? The postman always gets served with divorce papers twice. Kevin Costner and Christine Baumgartner's contentious uncoupling drama rivals any plot on Yellowstone. The popular Paramount Network series even gets a shout-out in the second set of divorce documents Costner has had to scrutinize in his lifetime, with his wife of 18 years accusing him of deciding not to film another season because he saw a better opportunity to further line his pockets and seized it. He chose not to in order to pursue the Horizon project, Baumgartner said in legal filings per Insider. He essentially reinvested his compensation as an actor into this new endeavor that will certainly increase his earnings exponentially. The reason Costner's business moves mattered to Baumgartner so much was that they affected what her potential child support payments would be. She ended up being awarded almost $130,000 a month to ensure that the three children she and Costner, Cher Caton, Hayes, and Grace, won't experience a reduction in their standard of living. Baumgartner also wanted to keep living in the $145 million Santa Barbara mansion that she and Costner once shared. In his divorce declaration, which was obtained by Radar, Costner's argument that Baumgartner should be evicted from the property included a reference to his first divorce from Cindy Silva. Baumgartner lost that battle per TMZ, apparently because Costner's first acrimonious experience with ending a marriage made him realize that he has to have a powerful prenup in place to protect his assets. Kevin Costner revealed that his living situation also wasn't ideal. After he and his first wife, Cindy Silva, initiated divorce proceedings in 1994. Upon separation, I found myself without a home base and unable to live in my own home. He revealed in his second divorce declaration, I never wanted this to happen again. Costner and Silva were college sweethearts who had been married for 16 years when they decided to call it quits. At the time, Costner had established himself as one of Hollywood's most in-demand leading men, appearing in future classics such as Field of Dreams and The Bodyguard. He also starred in and directed the Oscar-winning film, Dances with Wolves. But it seems that he didn't ask Silva to sign a prenup before he was blessed with so much success, as he was reportedly ordered to pay her $80 million. This caused Costner's net worth to take a big hit, and earned him a spot on the 2008 Forbes list of Hollywood's costliest divorces. According to Variety, Costner was getting paid $1.3 million per episode of Yellowstone when he exited the series, so today, he'd have to film over 60 episodes of the show to recoup the financial loss from his first divorce. According to legal docs obtained by People, Costner promised Christine Baumgartner a relatively paltry $1.5 million in their prenup. However, she didn't want to accept the payout outright, as doing so would preclude her from challenging the prenup. Kevin Costner was hit with cheating rumors. In its 1994 cover story about Kevin Costner and Cindy Silva's divorce, People reported that Costner had garnered a reputation for being unfaithful, whether it was deserved or not. There were rumors that he had cheated on Silva with a nightclub receptionist while on location shooting Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and with a hula performer named Michelle Amaro while filming Waterworld in Hawaii. Another woman accused Costner of attempting to unbutton her coat in a limo without her consent. It's almost like he thought, hey, I'm getting to be a big star. Let's see what I can do, she said. A friend of the couple also said that Silva was starting to struggle with her husband, having a job that required him to film love scenes with other women which was not something she signed up for when she and Costner began dating as students at Cal State Fullerton. Parade asked Costner about the rumors of his infidelity in 1995, and he said of a moral, I never even spoke to the woman on the telephone. He also denied having an affair with Angie Everhart. Costner and Silva had three children together, and it seems they were aware of the reports about their dad. It was hard on Cindy and our children, he said. It didn't help things. The only thing it did was hurt. The collapse of my marriage was the hardest thing of all for me.